coordinator, you are responsible to meet with the group coordinator or event hosts prior to functions, make introductions, and ensure that all arrangements are agreeable. You have to read and analyze banquet event order in order to gather information, determine proper setup, specify guest needs, action stations, and many more. While working closely with the banqueting team, you are responsible for the execution and delivery of all events, maximizing revenue, utilization of meeting space, and working to achieve or exceed the defined budgeted revenues for banquet department. An event coordinator has many responsibilities, such as participate in daily business review meetings, sales meetings, and management meetings, maintain valid call objectives and relevant action plan for each key account, and ensure all follow-up is done in a timely manner. To nail that position, you have to have excellent communication skills, knowledgeable at negotiating and sales, confident at your presentations, and you must be flexible to accommodate irregular or extended duty hours. Hi, my name is Celia Mahdi, and I introduce to you what's a PR manager. First of all, in order to work in this field, a bachelor's degree in PR, management, business, or marketing is needed. Now, let's go deeper. PR managers create and maintain a favorable public image for their employer or client by communicating programs, accomplishments, and points of view. A PR manager has many responsibilities and tasks, such as planning a good PR strategy, being proactive, creating a strong bond with the press and the media, being active on social media, getting rid of scandals and bad news related to the company, and marketing the hotel's services, etc. In order to be a good PR manager, you have to be a multitasker, a good communicator with analytical skills and with an experience of at three years minimum. Hello everyone, today I'm going to explain the job description of a banquet manager. Banquet managers oversee the hosting of banquets to provide customers with an excellent banquet experience. Their duties include consulting with banquet sales directors and head chefs, determining the number of the wait staff, and planning the layout and setup the venues. They may also be required to manage beverage requests. Now regarding the responsibilities, he must to determine the number of seats and the number of servers required. He must supervise the placement of tables, the placement of plates, cutlery and the centerpieces and he must prepare a work schedule for all the service. Banquet manager requirements are to have a bachelor degree in hospitality management, to have an experience in managing and supervising banquets and finally to have the capability to collaborate with the banquet sale directors and the head chefs. Hello, today I'm going to present one of the most important positions in a hotel which is the F&B manager. The F&B manager is responsible for managing all F&B and day-to-day -day operation with budget guidelines and the highest standards, preserve excellence level of internal and external customer servers, design exceptional menus, purchase goods, and continuously make necessary improvements, identify customers' needs, and respond proactively to all of their concerns. In order to fulfill, uh, to fulfill such a position, the candidate must have a hospitality management degree and some good years of experience in the F&B field, standard computer skills related to the job, and to be expert in some, of, in some soft skills will provide satisfaction to the customer, lead the staff, and provide a good reputation to the hotel in general. Finally, to be a successful food and beverage manager, you should have excellent customer service and problem-solving skills, as well as experience with, with designing menus. Ultimately, a top-notch food and beverage manager should be skilled at ordering just the right amount of inventory to last until the next delivery. Thank you. Hello, my name is Magi Ibrahim. I'm talking about the waiter position in the hospitality industry. A waiter is responsible in general for taking orders and serving food and beverage to guests. They play an important role in the operation of a restaurant or an hotel as they are responsible for checking on satisfaction or and play a major role in the upselling to increase sales. Either more they must be professionally trained to details, must know all the information about the menu and ingredient, should be polite with customer and make sure they exceed the guest satisfaction and must be trained to exceed the guest satisfaction and to well communicate with the kitchen staff. Physically, 
they must have a high level of personal hygiene, able to cope with physical needs of demand. Hello, my name is Rita Al Halabi, and today I am talking about the sales manager position. A sales manager is usually the person in charge of the sales team. They have various duties and responsibilities. Some of them are closely following up on all business leads within a 24-hour timeline to clients, acquiring and developing new business accounts, and preparing sale proposals for the clients, managing and developing relationships with key internal and external stakeholders. The prerequisites needed for this position. In education, they must be able to speak and understand the primary language used by the guests who visit the hotel. A three-year degree from an accredited university in business administration, marketing, hotel and restaurant management, or related majors, must speak, read and write and understand the primary language used in the workplace. In addition to having experience about three or more years in the sales and marketing field, in addition to physical activities, being able to speak, write, sit, walk, and uh, uh, emotional intelligence is needed in this job. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lara Rishnan, and today I'm going to talk about the executive housekeeping position. It's a very important position in an hotel. It has lots of duties and responsibilities, require prerequisition, and have future career paths. Housekeeping department is the biggest department in an hotel with the largest team, so coordination and passion is a need to succeed as an executive housekeeper. The executive housekeeper direct and controls the housekeeping operation and the staff of the housekeeping department. He coordinates between the housekeeping crew to inspect assigned area to ensure standards are met. It's not an easy position, it's a challenge and an inspiration. The bellboy is a hotel porter who carries the guest's luggage and package from the entry room of the hotel to the exit point. The bellboy is responsible of holding the guest luggage and welcoming the guest, escorting them to their rooms and also explaining them explaining about the hotel facilities. They assist the guests only according to their orders. And in order to improve the facility, they have to keep the guests satisfied by remembering their name at least and know how to communicate with them and be nice. They have to know how to communicate verbally and written and knows how to park cars in order to assist the valet during the arrival and the departure of the guests. When applying to this job, they should have at least one to three years experience from experience in this department and have the ability to lift high weight. And they have to follow the health and, sec the health and security procedures to avoid any future injuries. I am Billy Az. I am going to talk to you about the concierge positions in hotels. Simply, a concierge help is the way for guests in many ways on and off premises. The concierge works in the room division under the front office department and reports to the front office manager. The concierge takes messages, arranges transportation, and processes requests to housekeeping and maintenance for guests. Moreover, the concierge should be well informed about the local attractions. Therefore, he is the person to reserve tickets to events, parties, museums, and all of premises activities. It is a critical position because it can make people feel good or bad about our establishment. Courtesy and self-esteem are important aspects of the job, especially because this position is actually handling guests' private needs. Prerequisites can range from high school diploma to a degree, and hotel experience is a plus. Thank you. Hello, I'll be talking about front desk agent duties. What you should know is that you're required to answer incoming calls, register guests, inform them about auto rates and services, make and confirm reservations, cooperate with necessary staff, including housekeeping and maintenance to address any problems or complaints made by guests, and so on. To do this, you should pay attention to details, plan, organize and multitask. However, professional appearance and attitude, effective verbal and written communication skills is a must. Keep a smile on your face and respond appropriately to diverse customers. Don't forget, it takes a special kind of person to be a front desk agent. The maintenance manager is the one who takes care of our hotels and infrastructure, such as building electricity, and manage maintenance personnel and plan various renovation and repair projects. 
He should be organized and proactive, and has a familiarity with electrical plumbing and HVAC system, and committed to meeting health and safety standards. His goal will be to ensure our altered premises are safe and functional for guests and employees alike. Hello, I am Kamen Seyfuddin. I will talk about the accounting manager position in the Five Stars Hotel. The accounting manager is responsible for managing and overseeing all aspects of financial operations and employee relations. This position reports directly to the general manager. The accounting manager responsibilities include the accurate and timely preparation and analysis of all facets of the financial operations of the company, including financial statement preparation, cash management, budget preparation and analysis, accounts receivable, accounts payable, and all other fiscally related duties. Hello, I am Abbas Musa. I will talk about Chef de Partie in a five-star restaurant or hotel. Chef de Partie or CDP responsible supporting the head chef and the sous chef in a busy hotel kitchen delivering consistently high quality of food. Handle purchase order and ensure that items arriving uh, without authorization are not received. Chef de Partie ensure high level of guest satisfaction, quality operation and food cost on an ongoing basis. Follow the employee and have an excellent knowledge of menu creation. Hi, a lot of people when asked about an executive chef, they get confused whether it takes a chef role or a managerial role. Let me explain briefly. An executive chef, also known as a chef manager or a head chef in some properties, is considered the very top of the kitchen management structure. An executive chef oversees the daily operations of restaurants and other kitchens. This may include hiring, training, overseeing kitchen staff, ensuring a high-quality, cost-effective product. A head chef is also responsible for creating an innovative cuisine and providing a satisfying culinary experience for their guests. An executive chef takes responsibility for every dish that leaves their kitchen. That's why only the largest establishments have an executive chef. In conclusion, an executive chef is considered a managerial role. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.